Uh, hello everyone, I'm Yu Chida from uh, Bhutan Airport Research Institute in Japan. Uh, the title of my presentation is uh, Is Car and Animal Car Modeling uh, Hold Direct Objects Due to the Tsunami in Addition in the Coastal Urban Area? So, uh, here is uh, today's content. Uh, firstly, I will introduce the uh, background and the aim of this study. And secondly, I will talk about the overview of the uh, experiment. And after that, I will show the results of the experiment and simulation. So, as you know, uh, recent tsunamis uh, have caused uh, catastrophic damage uh, to the coastal areas, and a lot of uh, floating objects uh, caused damage to the structures uh, due, due to the collision. And a large amount of the floating objects uh, caused uh, blockage on the road and the ship routes. And the damage uh, caused by the float, uh, these floating objects, so especially uh, the blockage of the road and the ship routes, uh, prevented quick recovery from these disasters. Uh, for future tsunamis, not only simple evaluation of in addition depths and arrival time, but also evaluation of the influence of the floating object is needed. So as uh, research on the behavior uh, of floating debris, uh, there are a lot of experimental studies to understand a basic characteristic of debris motion using uh, idealized topography and the simple wave conditions. So as a study uh, for the debris distribution in actual tsunami, uh, Naito suggested that uh, the debris final distribution is uh, within 22.5 degrees uh, from debris source uh, by his field survey. So this method is very simple and very useful, but the uh, process of debris behavior from moving to the stopping uh, remains unclear. And uh, a lot of experimental study on EDR topography and the using numerical simulation are uh, already reported, but there is no experimental research uh, targeting debris motion uh, using more realistic topography. So there are, it is necessary to deepen our understanding of uh, debris behavior and the tsunami flow affected by the local topography and the structures yeah, as a next step, I think. And uh, you know, uh, numerical simulation is very useful to know uh, the debris uh, behavior and the distribution and uh, under the tsunami flow affected by the local topography and the structures. However, uh, it is very difficult uh, to validate flow model and the debris model for the actual tsunami because uh, spatial temporal data uh, for model validation is not enough. So uh, the first objective in our experiment is to obtain uh, spatial temporal data on tsunami flow and debris behavior uh, using uh, urban city model, including ports and the industri industrial sites and uh, residential areas. Next, uh, we analyze the uh, characteristic of tsunami flow and uh, debris behavior under the complicated topography. At the same time, we organize uh, experimental data and create uh, benchmark data for model validation. And we now try to validate uh, the uh, simulation model of innovation and debris motion. And uh, today's presentation is only to show the results of the debris experiment and debris simulation because I don't have much time to introduce all the results of our study. So if you have uh, interest in the results of the addition experiments and simulation, uh, please check the FQI and the chance uh, abstract and their presentation at, at this conference. Yeah, the session number uh, is uh, 24 and uh, 250. 15. So uh, we used the uh, hybrid tsunami open flow in which your laboratory at Kyoto University, DPRI, uh, we called high tofu. So the size of all the tank is 44 meter long and 44 meter wide and 2 meter high. There are three types of web generation method, a piston type generator, and head stretch tank at water jet pump. So in this experiment, our target area is uh, Kainan City, Kainan City here, uh, in Wakayama Prefecture near Osaka. Osaka is here. So this is a place where inundation damage 
will be feared due to the tsunami caused by the Nanka uh, Trap earthquake. In our experiment, uh, Kainan City model of the 1250th uh, scale was installed in Haitofu, as shown this figure. And the uh, right figure shows the schematic of water flow. A 4K video camera was used to uh, record the situation of inundation and uh, debris motion from the top of the water flow. And the green, green frame in this figure is the camera range area. And uh, we conducted uh, two types of the debris experiment, but I don't have time to introduce both results. So I will show the, only the box uh, model results in my presentation. So this model uh, created by the 3D printer uh, was uh, installed on the land here and the sea water. And the length of this model is 0.25 meter and the width uh, is 0.1 meter and the height is 0.1 meter. And the specific gravity is 0.25. And uh, you, know, uh, you can see uh, the markers uh, for image analysis was attached on the top of the model. And this table shows a uh, uh, summary of debris experiment conditions. And experiment learned using box model was 10 or 11 uh, repeatedly uh, under the same conditions. And uh, bottom right figure shows the uh, time series of the water surface at the wave gauge one uh, near the wave generator. And the third line shows the mean value of the water surface uh, each line. And the current area shows the standard deviation. So as shown, shown in these figures, the variation of water surface uh, between each run is very small. So uh, this figure shows the results of the debris uh, trajectory uh, and the stopping position. The final stopping position is shown by a square. The blue line, a blue square, is the result of the land case. The land case means the box model was installed on the land. And uh, the orange line, orange square, is the result of the C case. C case. So uh, the color line in this figure was uh, classified by the final position. According to the, these results, the debris behavior and the stopping position has a variation, but the size of the variation is not so large. And uh, they can be classified into some patterns. For example, in land case, the results could be classified into three patterns. In the case here. Uh, in the four, case, four cases, uh, debris flowed out to the sea uh, due to the backwash flow. And in five cases here, uh, they were returned uh, near the initial position uh, due to the backwash flow. And uh, in two cases, uh, they were collided uh, with the structures and uh, captured in the leading wave. So in this experiment, the scale of the uh, box model is larger than that of the structures. Therefore, in the case of the land case, uh, the water flow and uh, debris motion are restricted by the building shape and the distribution. So as a result, uh, the variation is small. And on the other hand, uh, in the C case, uh, except for the blue line case, uh, blue line case here, uh, debris moved in the southeast, southeast direction from the initial position here. Uh, and move to the inner part of the boat. As for the blue case, there was a difference from the other cases immediately after the start of the movement here. And uh, it was found that the difference in the contact effect uh, between the debris bottom and the sea bottom surface had a great influence of the drift behavior in the, this initial stage. I and mean, we found that uh, the behavior of the debris and stopping position were variable, but the variation size is small. And the variation was uh, caused uh, by the distribution of the building and the water depths. And uh, from here, I want to talk about the numerical simulation results. Firstly, I will briefly explain the condition 
for the numerical simulation. So uh, in the flow model, uh, incident wave uh, in this simulation uh, used the time series data uh, of the water surface in wave gauge one here. And in our areas uh, here, uh, the grid size is five millimeter. So the actual scale is about one meter. It's very so fine. So that, and uh, the numerical uh, model used for this simulation is uh, stock here, this model uh, developed uh, by our laboratory. And the uh, governing equations uh, is non-linear shallow water equations in this model. And uh, next I will explain the debris model briefly. In this model, the idealized shape uh, of rectangular box is used for the simplicity. And in this model, the motion uh, of the liquid model is uh, solved. The external force is drag force and added mass force. And the function of the collision is included. So here is the comparison results of the debris track. The gray line is the trajectory of the experimental results, and the blue line is the simulation results of the C case, and the orange line is the simulation results of the land case. So looking at the stock results, uh, I can say that the experimental behavior can be reproduced uh, very well, and the simulation results are the included in the variation of the experimental results for both the land case and the C case. Now I try to confirm the, how to the, how the behavior changed when the variation uh, given to the drift model artificially. Okay, so uh, this is a summary of my presentation, and and I sorry uh, in the summary of the, my talk, uh, we could. Uh, the debris behavior affected by the local bathymetry and the topography change was observed. And in the simulation part, uh, debris simulation uh, using our model was uh, in good agreement with uh, debris behavior and the stopping area. And uh, uh, finally, I close my presentation after showing our future plan. So now uh, we didn't use uh, PIB results to analyze the relationship between the debris velocity and the flow velocity, and uh, don't use that to uh, compare with the numerical simulation results. So this is the next uh, plan. And now we are conducting uh, numerical simulation by changing the uh, initial condition of uh, debris model. So I will do my best uh, to show these results to you in the future. That's all, thank you very much.